Welcome back to the programme. Royal fans were left disappointed last night after missing out on tickets for the Coronation concert. But with half of Take That, Katy Perry and Lionel Richie among the only pop stars performing at the show on May the 7th, is the lineup possibly just maybe a little disappointing. Well, joining me in the studio is Royal commentator Emily Andrews. Lovely to have you, Emily. And uh, we're also joined by entertainment journalist yeah. Josh Rom. Should we start with Josh? Because this is his bag, this entertainment stuff. Josh, I mean, you know, we, we, we've got Howard Donald, haven't we? I mean, we've got Gary Barlow. <laughs> I mean, we've got we've got Mark. What 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 more do we want with a, with a bit of Lionel Richie and Katy Perry? Is there anything to complain about? Shouldn't we be thrilled to bits at that prospect? I mean, yes, we should be thrilled to bits, but one can't help but look at all the reports of all the stars that turned the coronation down. The likes of Elton John have turned the coronation down. The likes of Adele have turned the coronation down. The likes of Harry Styles have also turned the coronation down. They say it's owed to uh, scheduling difficulties. You know, some of these stars like Harry Styles, like Elton John have worldwide tours. Adele currently has her Las Vegas residency. So it is difficult for them them to organize all within the space of a year. Mm -hmm. It's not like the Diamond or Platinum Jubilee concerts, which could be planned uh, five years in advance. So yes, there are difficulties when it comes to planning logistics. And we've seen the likes of, as you stated, Lionel Richie, Katy Perry. We've also got um, huge other artists like Andrea Pacetti performing. We've yeah. got up and coming artists like Freya Ridings. Of course, her album was streamed uh, digitally worldwide after her debut single uh, was made popular from Love Island. So we've mm. got a whole uh, list of artists plus a load of names which have not yet been announced. <laughs> yes, OK, so you've been very polite, you've been very courteous and decorous, Josh, as you've been brought up to be, and all credit to your mum for raising you such a charming gentleman. But what do you really think as an entertainment journalist of that lineup? Let's get a bit of truth and guts in this conversation, Josh. Yeah, I think it could be better if I'm going to be honest. You know, <laughs> there we you go. Know, we, you know, take that's good. Lionel Richie's good. Katy Perry's good. We we do have some star heavy hitters, but I am slightly disappointed that not more huge British global names are included in that lineup. I do get it because some of the, their lives are planned um, with two years in advance. You know, some of these artists plan, right, in two years, I'm going to write an album at this time. So I get the difficulties here. And as somebody that's in the industry, I get the logistical problems. I get it's not just about flying someone in. If you cancel a date on tour, you're letting a whole load of companies down you're letting the tour promoters the lighting all the rigging everybody okay that we don't care we think they should have made an exception for the coronation <laughs> for do. goodness I sake do. who cares I about do. letting the light be lighting people down in the tour operators Emily, what's happened here is it i mean elton we might imagine would be team diana and not think it was entirely appropriate to sing at this coronation but what about the rest of them why couldn't adele have taken one night off from vegas come over on an airplane a private jet and sung and gone back again is king charles just not cool enough for them i mean this is the question i think there's a couple of things going on here i mean josh would know better than me but it's my understanding that when artists come and perform at the platinum jubilee or at a royal concert they don't get paid no and their record company have to pay for all the staging. So it costs them quite a lot of money. Mm. And obviously, if they're in the middle of the tour, they don't want to let someone down. And the other thing is someone who's a booker for big budget TV shows said it's difficult to get pop stars on now because in the past, that's how they used to sell their albums. Mm. But now, of course, they don't need to do that anymore. And so things like these big concerts do suffer in trying to get the big names because the big stars think, well, I don't need to do that anymore. The reason that Katy Perry and Lionel Richie have been signed up is because actually they're ambassadors for two of Prince Charles's charities. Oh. It would have been really quite embarrassing <laughs> if Katy Perry or Lionel Richie had turned Charles down, given that in particular Katy Perry is an ambassador for his British Asian Trust. And brilliantly, she was interviewed about performing, I think either last night or yesterday, and she was very excited about it and used that platform to say she was an ambassador for the British Asian Trust. It works to stop 
child trafficking and it's incredibly important. So great to see her use her, her platform to, to promote the charity. Where are Charles' special favourites? The Three Degrees. Where's we the lovely them. Sheila Ferguson? When will I see you again and all of that? Well, he used to love them. Wasn't he in love with Sheila Ferguson for a while? Yes, and I think it's a bit sad, actually, that we don't have perhaps some more, some can I say, more senior Yeah, more performers? senior, more vintage. More vintage. More antique, I mean, the antique you know, variety of performance. What's happened to them? Last year we had... Um, where's Dame Shirley where's Bassey? Dame Shirley he Bassey. loves Shirley well, Bassey. Where's she? And the Royals love Shirley Bassey, yes. but I think maybe does the Coronation concert suffer a little bit because we've only just... It's just a year on from the Platinum Jubilee. We had that... Where's Suggsy? Well, All no. of that is, where are they? Where's their where's, cheering? Where's Brian May, for God's sake? <laughs> Why's Brian May? Why isn't someone on the roof of the palace? Where's the castle? Where have they know. gone? What's happened to all that lot? Yeah, well, maybe it was because it had to be put together at such where's a short amount of time. I know, where is that Where's Sir Cliff, 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 for goodness sake? We need Sir Cliff. All these people, we could have drawn up a fabulous... Where's Josh Rom still there? Josh, we're, we're, Emily and I, we're drawing up a fabulous roster of essential performers there. Mm. Don't you think, led by Sir Cliff? I absolutely think your ideas for the coronation concert, I think you guys should have been recruited, quite frankly. Um, what I will say is there are, the BBC have said there are other names yet to be announced. I know from sources that Sir Paul McCartney has been approached as yeah. well. Um, you know, it was reported a couple of weeks back that Bette Midler, she of course, famously performed at the Royal Variety performance in 2009 and 2014 that she might be flying in as well. So there are other names yet to be announced. What about and it Stormzy? Wouldn't surprise me. Why isn't it Stormzy wouldn't... doing it? He loves the Royal Family. He's always fraternising, isn't he? Well, I They're know. always inviting him to think I they know. love him. Yeah, don't There's know. There's a whole mutual loving going on there. Who knows? Yeah, but and... Stormzy does have the, um, the reputation for making political statements oh. on stage. We wouldn't want him to do that at the coronation. And maybe, Josh, as well, you know, Charles is a real fan of classical music. He's a real fan of all genres. It's not just... He does like pop music, but obviously he was the inspiration for having the gospel choir at Harry and Meghan's wedding. So maybe, yes, no big names apart from the ones that we've mentioned. The three members have take that. Robbie's not coming. Never mind. But maybe we'll see some other kind of genres of music that we haven't seen before at those royal kinds of concerts. That might be quite a new departure and also reflect Charles's love of music.